A memorial service for comedian Joan Rivers was held today here in New York, and it delivered on her wishes for a true Hollywood-style send-off. Everything from A-list celebrities to red carpet treatment. NBC's Ron Mott has our report. The comic legend Joan Rivers got the final punchline she wanted. A roster of A-list guests, from Whoopi Goldberg and Barbara Walters, to Sarah Jessica Parker, Rosie O'Donnell, even a musical number from Hugh Jackman, and the showstopper himself, Howard Stern. Howard Stern gets up unannounced. He opens with a line that brought the house down, but boy, was it risky. Risky in the way Rivers delivered her humor to America for 50 years. Can we talk? She was a tramp. Raunchy and wild, no holds barred. Gwyneth Paltrow, the world's most beautiful woman. <laughs> In her 2012 book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me, Rivers joked about her send-off. I want my funeral to be, to be a huge showbiz affair with lights and cameras and action. I want it to be Hollywood all the way. Don't give me some rabbi rambling on. Outside, throngs of fans applauded daughter Melissa Rivers and her son Cooper as they left the service, led by a band of backpipers. And obviously you consider yourself a fan. Absolutely. You can really feel her energy every single time. She never mailed it in. She was always authentic. NBC's Hoda Kotb shared many a giggle with Rivers on and off camera. We love you, Joni. Thank so you for the two of you. Yes. It seems a little weird to be smiling after a memorial service, but that's sort of what this entire afternoon was. It was full of laughter and joy, and it was also Full of tears. The service, in one word, was irreverent. It was fabulous. Joan Rivers would have loved it. A farewell far from fun, though heavy on levity for a queen of comedy. I'm so happy to have people I can laugh with. Ron Mott, NBC News, New York.